Well, hello. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back again on Friday. I, I, I know. I know some of y'all thought I was done, right? You, you won't hear, hear from me no more today. And uh, <laughs> I'm just joking. I, I have a. I have a. Um, I have a a word. I have a word that I want to a a word that I want to speak. There's a spirit. There's another spirit, and there's certain spirits that. That, that that God is allowing me to to see more more clear, and um, and I just want to identify this one particular spirit. And and it's and it's and what it is is I, like I mentioned one day, like a wild spirit, a wild spirit. And um, today today God dropped a, a name, a, a name, the name of a spirit uh, uh, in my in my in my heart, and that is the uh, lunatic spirit. Lunatics. If you go into Mark, I think it's Mark 9, 8, 17, 18, it talks about a boy who had a dumb or lunatic spirit. And it says that when this particular uh, uh, spirit seizes him, falls on the floor, gnash at the teeth, foam out the mouth, and begins to, you know, afflict himself and begin to hurt himself. One of the things that, one of the things that I've noticed, that this one particular spirit that I'm noticing and in, 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 in people, is that at times, at times, whether whether they become angry, upset, or, or something happens that shocks them, uh, it, it's connected to the panic attacks. But um, but but this is a this is a this is a, it's almost like the panic attacks is a gateway. The panic attacks the panic attacks is, is is a gateway. It's almost like how certain drugs are a gate, gateway to other drugs. Like the panic attack, the panic attacks is like. The, the emotional, the emotional distress and all that. It's like it's breaking down your senses. It's like it's breaking down. It's like breaking down your your senses, your ability to to cope, your ability to think, your ability to to process, your ability to become. And at, at a at a point where nervousness is is always running up and down in your veins, where you can't stay still. You cannot stay still, and and it's like you can't stay still. It's like you're afraid to be still. It's like you're afraid to be still because it's like if you slow down things, slow down. You're afraid of what you feel you're afraid of what would talk to you you're afraid of what would happen and so and so and so i'm just talking i'm just talking to to someone who's facing this who's dealing with this and that it's 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 it's, it's a spirit it's a spirit that tries to it tries to to grip you it tries to take take control of you and, it, and it's almost like people who they try to afflict themselves they try to afflict themselves with with pain they, I know there's some type of um, a ritual or some type of um, uh, a cult that um, that does such a thing, where um, where where they, they 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 use blood as a sacrifice. Well, sat Satan worship, sat sat satanic worshippers, they do that also, where they use blood as a sacrifice. But also at the uh, the, the showdown of Baal, when Baal's god didn't answer, then they began to afflict themselves with pain and stuff like that. But but also mentally, also, this spirit will also make you hate yourself. This spirit can, the, the, the gateways of it is been beginning to try to beat yourself down, make you think yourself, make you think and talk to yourself, you ugly. Um, I see all kind of negative stuff to keep beating you down, to, to make you depressed, to make you depressed, to make you fearful, make you afraid of everything and afraid of everything where you're isolated. And see, this spirit, there's a spirit, there's another spirit, uh, and they all kindred that tries to isolate you. And see, that's what the devil wants, to isolate you, because if he can isolate you, especially if you're not hearing God's word, if you're not hearing wise counsel, uh, God's word, uh, rightly divided. Not just his word, but his word has to be rightly divided with truth, rightly divided. Uh, someone who knows how to exegete, who knows how to rightly divide the word. And so, but when you isolate it, and when you're not really full in the word, but you're empty, then that's when these spirits can come on, not just the lunatic spirit, but other spirits, uh, po uh, the depression, uh, suppression, oppression will try to come and try to overtake you. And so those are those are some of so some of the things that I sense, because as a prophet, one of the abilities of a prophet is spiritual interpretation, where where you're able to where we're able to to see things in the spirit and interpret it according to the mind of God. And, and so, um, and that's what I see. It's a, it's a, un, it's a unruly, it's a un, out, out of control. It's a, I, I also, I mentioned also about, about, um, I think in my last video about, 
like I think crying and stuff like that and how you have to be careful of certain things that, that you don't have control over. When it's out of control, you can't control it. When you can't control it, you have to be careful of things that you can't control because if you can't control it, then, then it can take on a demonic form or it could be a stronghold. It could be a stronghold and eventually, if, if it stays a stronghold, it could eventually just mess with your mind, indoctrinate you and then it take on uh, demonic forms. And see, this is what the lunatic spirit also does. It, the person loses his mind and the spirit just does everything to destroy it, to hurt the body, to destroy your body, destroy your body. And then when you come to, or when you come to, then your body's all messed up and stuff like that. The Bible says, John 10 and 10, the thief coming but to kill, still in the story. But the Bible said that God said, I come that we, you have, might, might have life and that same life more abundantly. And so those are my thoughts. And that's my insight concerning in regards to the lunatic spirit is an out of control spirit, an unruly spirit, a spirit that doesn't listen, that listen to truth, doesn't listen to wise counsel, that doesn't listen to logic, that li doesn't listen to the word of God. But and also this spirit doesn't, 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 doesn't listen to or submit to authority. And so this particular spirit needs to be cast out, cast out. And one of the things that can cast it out is in your house is perfect love, perfect love, cast out all fear. And in the family of fear, uh, lunatic spirit, all that. Lunatic, uh, depression, oppression, depression, uh, melancholy spirit, whatever kind of spirit it is that's trying to destroy the body, that's trying to destroy the mind, that's trying to decay uh, that, that man, that woman's, that boy, that girl's uh, existence, thoughts. Cast it out. Cast it away. God don't want you to be that way. God don't want you to live that way. See, because God has not given us the spirit of fear. If you're in fear, it's because fear torment. If you've been tormented any kind of way, anything, that ain't God. Because God does not torment. Fear torment. God didn't give the believer the spirit of fear, but power, love and a sound mind. Power is the ability, the know-how to be able to be free, to know how to bound as well as to base. I can do all things through Christ Jesus that strengthen me. And so know who you are and shake yourself free. Shake yourself free from whatever that's binding you. Loose yourself, physician. Heal yourself. God bless you. And have a smile on you.